Greetings and salutations, exiles. I, um, you know, I've been working a lot lately on the idea and formulating the idea around torches and lighting in the game and how the the overall aspect of it or a rework of existing systems can greatly improve the gameplay experience, quality, and immersion. So I, uh, I did a video and. Uh, I thought I needed to revisit this topic because I watched the video and I, I thought to myself, God, I, I'm so retarded. Like, I just, I didn't articulate it nearly as well as I would like to have had in the video. And uh, sometimes it's difficult to to articulate an idea. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna flush this out some more and I'm going to redo the video. So many of you who follow my channel already know what this is about. But... Um, you know, feel free to chime in and let me know what you think. And um, you know, maybe this, maybe this time, this video will help set some direction. And because uh, I need the participation on the forums to make this happen, because Funcom has has said through their streams that they the forums posts that get the most traffic are the ones that get addressed, right? Like the old saying, "This the squeaky wheel gets the grease." So. Um, and I, I, I've formulated my idea uh, a lot better. I try to articulate it a lot better. So here on this form post, it's a rework, and it's real fundamental. It, it kind of deep dives in, into the game system. Uh, it has more of a profound in, impact than uh, at first glance. And so it's it's the torch rework. And they, you know, they've redone the weapon system two or three times. But I think if they do the torch, it, it's it's profound and um, so I broke it down into phases so that way they can implement these in a in a more of a rapid response versus all or none because if, if they if address it as all or none then they'll that that's too much work that's too much work but if you s simplify some of the easier things and start the direction you know start st baby steps to a greater uh, journey kind of ideology um, and so that's what I've done. I was like, you know, how can I influence this to improve the game and give everybody a better playable experience? And so this is what I've come up with. So it's phase one would just add the ability to throw torches on the ground. And these systems already exist, right? We have those hatchets. They throw those hatchets when you hit the control key. So uh, maybe you have to dual wield torches, you know, have a torch in each hand. But the ability to throw torches on the ground. Also, the Mitra Shrine, the Ankh gets pulled into this core gameplay mechanic. And because the, the shrines badly need a rework, but that's that's another fight. Um, but the Ankhs, they you know, they, they have the ability when you onk something, it uh it in essence it takes their spirit and then you turn those spirits in in for for zeal or tokens. Um well, once you onk something, that onk should produce a light radius, like a five meter light radius. And that's, you know, as far as the game design goes, that's pretty easy to attach a light source to an item. I mean, they already do it to the torch. And that gives more reason to carry around an onk. And then when you go to your improved onk, you know, there's no real benefit from a, um, a base onk to an improved onk. So if they, this does, this drives, the desire to upgrade and go through the trouble of the improved onk is that the improved onk has a greater light radius. Or, you know, even if they want to just not even give the base onk no light radius, but the improved onk now emits like this spiritual light radius that's really powerful. And, um, you know, something of divine divinity. So it's kind of one of those things where it, it um, redefines and it gives immersion and it's, you know, like I'm... I'm Mitra is with me, okay, and then on to the phase two development. You have uh, add the ability for torches uh, to implement a small uh, burn damage uh, damage over time. So for the for those of you who don't know, a damage over time is like a poison. You get poisoned every couple of seconds. It hits with a tick. So and the the systems are already in the in the game with bleed poison gas um, but they don't have a fire damage over time and so this way they can implement the fire damage and it's a little bit more complex because they have to do the effect on the beast like how it is how it is implemented how do you see it represented 
on the beast. Um, some of those animations can be used from the poison, but the visual representation I think needs to kind of be like a sinew, uh, kind of a ash, ashy apparent sinew. They don't need to go with the actual flame coming up because that's complex and creates more asset development. But just a just a a, a replacement of the the um, the texture from blood to sinew would would work. And then you obviously see. And you're, uh, and then you would see the debuff, the little fire debuff on the uh, icon on the enemy to represent a uh, that it has a burn damage over time implemented. It's a little bit more complex. That's why it's in phase two. Uh, also, a redefinement of the tier one, two, and three on torches. Like, where do they actually fall into the spectrum? Because right now you have your improvised torch, your torch. And then you have these kind of like crafting things uh, that you get for for uh, you know base building, but you know you like you have your uh, torch that you in place, and then you have the uh, breath of the red mother, which comes off of the the red dragon in the unnamed city, which is which is a legendary torch, you know. And that would kind of I guess technically be like a tier four, but they need to redefine that and clean that up to where uh, tier t tier one torches are crafted. Like uh, like stone pickaxes, and so there's your tier one. Tier two require a um, a carpent a carpenter's bench, and tier three requires an improved carpenter bench. And then maybe uh, go a step further where you can um, get different resources around the world for different lighting effects. Are those gems and kind of flush that crafting system out. Uh, with recipes, and I, you know, I'm kind of segueing into one of my other bullets, but they they need to badly redefine the torch system and the, and how it uh, is is implemented into the tiers. They need to kind of get a spreadsheet out and put all that together, and that's your tier two phase. Um, okay, and that you know, I, I I bled into my my third bullet here about um, you know how it's implemented in the crafting system kind of with iron steel hardened steel uh, star metal and obsidian and so they you know they need to use these other components to to in the crafting of torches to kind of you know because the more replayability the more um use reason to craft this stuff you know the more uh you know maybe create a couple of different flame or visual flame or light radius uh assets to kind of t polish this in you know to tie this in but it's um you know are you some of those gems that they've created that create a light source but they they need to uh i know they have like the the snake spires but they need to revisit all this and kind of uh dial it in and and polish it up and kind of pull it together in a package and and uh i guess clean it up is the better word um yeah, add the ability for more complex recipes, and that's the, all of that kind of ties into the crafting element. And uh, I've, I've I've formulated this idea, and this is a little bit of a segue, but I've formulated this idea through the thought process of the shrines, and the shrines badly need a rework, but they, it needs to be implemented in a through the tier system, and that's kind of how I came to this idea. And I'll I'll do a separate video on the shrines and the shrine rework. But um, they they need to implement the how its use in the world is based through the tier system. That's really important because that's the the tier system is such a a pillar of the gameplay experience. And then secondly, um, the the third phase, right? And this is a lot a little bit more complicated. Um, okay, so actually implement the torches in the world so let's say you go to the mounds of the dead and for whatever reason the mounds of the dead is always super dark it's always raining it has that wet cold kind of like nordic vibe to it and I mean, the immersion is great but in the middle of those those buildings those i forget what they call those circular um huts uh there's a name for them they're they're, they're in the game i think they're mounds but um they had. Do they just have a cauldron, a fi one light source that comes from the middle of those cauldrons? If they were to do a torch on each one of those pillars, and then you could come in and loot the torch after you fight. You know, you do that close quarter combat in all of the uh, inside that mound. 
and you know it's 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 a it's it's a lot more dangerous in there because you're doing all that close quarter combat and it's more of a challenge and right now there's just like one chest your reward for going in there is one chest but um if they also had these torches that were kind of like your tier two equivalent that ultimately you could loot the torch off the wall and then that would take the light source out of the room and what that would do is that would um, implement a self of a uh, a version of immersion and then that would also if the torches were gone when you got there you knew that that was dangerous to go in there you're like oh somebody's been through here um, and that would kind of set the precedence for a the PvP environment there's just a lot of immersion that comes out of that plus it has uh, you know the the burn timer on that would be um, kind of like your tier 2 plus equivalent you know so if a tier 1 was two minutes a uh, tier two was was uh, twenty minutes. Uh, tier two plus would be like two hours. You know, in the breath of the red mother is like you know a a solid week. Uh, you know, one hundred sixty seven hours or one hundred sixty nine hours or whatever it is. So that's you know that's kind of a little bit more tailoring there. You know, they're actually putting assets in the world that's a lot more complicated. Um, and phase three might not ever happen, but at least it's it's kind of the the flushing out of the idea of the importance of. Um, how the lighting source can impact the world in an a immersion based experience um, okay I talked about the the it, when you have a torch and you strike somebody uh, it, it puts a small damage over time uh, this damage over time so if you have a tier one you know it'd be one tick uh, a minute I mean, one tick a, a second or however their their dots are paced out I think it's a click every two seconds but it would a tier two torch would be like two ticks every second. A tier three torch would be like three ticks, and then if you hit them multiple times, then it would stack up to five. And so you would you would it'd be a significant multiplier of burn damage. Um, a little bit more complicated in the process, you know. And and maybe some of these, you know, as you're developing these, maybe some of these would be uh, you know mix and match at your own. Uh, leisure but just kind of put a phase to design application so that way you can implement some of these changes uh, through the patch system and and manage it better uh, and then the and then finally uh, I think this would be the most profound is the ability to uh, light or ignite tar and gaseous orbs by throwing your torch on it so if you toss your torch on into a gaseous orb it would ignite uh, kind of kind of tie it into the explosion arrows and uh, kind of tie it into the um, uh, the explosive jars kind of that early game PvP uh, you know if you throw it at a, a, an explosion jar it wouldn't do anything but if you threw it into a gaseous orb or if you threw it into a you know maybe it has to be if you you know if you're worried about balancing maybe it has to be a special torch um, that uses that is from a certain um i don't know maybe that's drifting too far off the main topic but add, adding that ad additional immersion into the game where you can light tar and um light gaseous orbs on fire i think would be pretty profound and ca cascade through the gameplay and then finally i uh, you know this ties into a little bit uh, but um if you if you burn plants they would you would be able to loot ash from them you know it's like if you um but i don't know if that's doable that was kind of one of the the, the add-on or addendum thoughts that i had after after i wrote wrote all this out on the forums but let me know what you think i i definitely uh have been thinking about this for about a year you know i, I as i got my almost 1400 hours of play time and uh, you know on multitude of servers i've come to the realization that this badly Badly needs to be tuned up, polished, re revisited, you know, whatever, however you, the, the key phrase is for the day. But um, it would profoundly improve the game. Thank you for watching this video. If you agree with this content, please go to the Funcom forums and put in your personal opinion. I, you know, it's okay with me if you disagree or agree, but the only way that we drive positive change as a community is if we use our active voice. And they will not implement any of these changes unless the traffic 
on the forms on this particular topic is high. So I need a high degree of participation. I'll leave a description in the link below. Thank you for watching.